day six is easy enough. In our, my day six.py, what we have done is we first import requests, which is the module to request information from online. We then use beautiful soup to import an HTML processor. We first create a request to get some data from online. Here I'm using a random article from the BBC. We then use the text as the HTML, HTML documentation. And when we feed this into beautiful soup using the HTML parser module, we then find all the paragraphs inside the HTML body. And if there's a string inside that paragraph, we print out that string and then we print out a new line. And that's how I have completed my day six. Because this is quite an open-ended exercise, I'd expect that your code will look substantially different from mine. The key here is you have went through the process of downloading some new modules using pip, installing them, importing them in your Python environments, and also exploring what these modules can do for you using the documentation. Handling files programmatically in Python. So we've broken this day down into three videos and we're going to take a look at number one, reading text from a file, number two, writing text to a file, and then number three, handling exceptions. So the first part of this course is to look at how we can read text from a file. And again, we're going to break this down into three parts, path handling in Python, reading files into a variable, and reading lines into a variable. Let's go in and take a look. So here I have started an IPython instance by typing IPython after I have navigated my command line into the company encode file folder seven days. And so inside seven days there's a sample.txt and we can know this by typing sample and then doing tab and IPython because it's very helpful it connects to whatever folder you're in, it should autocomplete and say sample.txt is available. So the way paths work in Python is very simple. We have access to all the top level files, so we can do day5.py. And to open a file, what we can do is use with open the path. So let's explain what's happening here. So the with keyword creates a way for us to safely open files. There's no need for us to understand why it's safe. We can use it now and for those of you who are interested, you can go in and take a look at why the with keyword creates a safe scope for file opening. And so using the with keyword, we then say open, which is the, the function to open a file. So with open, we then give it the file name. And the reason why we can simply put in sample.txt as a file path is because we're already inside the folder that contains all of our files. And because IPython is opened in that folder, the root is the folder. So anything that is just inside the folder without any subfolders, we can simply access using the file name itself. We then feed in the second command or second input as a form of a string. And this string is arl. And so this stands for read, which means that we want to open a read channel somewhat using the open function. So if you want to write something, you have to put w. But because we only need to read a file, we open a, a channel to do read. It's very good practice to you to specify R and not W whenever you just need to read something because it prevents you from accidentally overwriting an important file. It also means that your administrator in your operating system can conveniently set permissions to who can read things and who can write things. And if you're doing Python work in an account that doesn't have write permission, then you can't call open dot open with the w as an access parameter. And that while that might sound like a restriction, that's actually a good thing because if you're not supposed to write anything, you don't want to access, accidentally write anything in the operating system, thus causing errors to yourself, your team, or your organization. 
going back to this, with open the file using a read mode, we then use all of this into F. So what it means is we open this and it returns a file from the operating system and we can access this file using the variable F. The simplest thing to do is to just read all the contents within F. So we can say print F. So what's happening here is with the with statement, we then create a new statement block by again indenting four spaces to the right. And because this is a statement block, it has its own little scope. And this scope contains the variable F, which we can use to access the file. We just print F. We can see that this is text IO wrapper for sample.text. The mode is read and the encoding is CP1252. The next thing I want to talk about is how we can read the content and not just return a text IO wrapper around sample text. So again, we do with open, we feed in the file name and we say R S F. And we use a special function within F called read. And what this gives us is it would read the contents of the sample.txt and print it out and return it as a value. This return value then gets fed into print, in which case we can print it. So we've read all of this. But what if we only want to read it line by line? What if we want to, let's say, print one line and create let's say a line number next to the line. This, what we can do is use F as an iterator. And then we can do for line in F. So what this is, is Python has conveniently created F in a list like object. To reference a list like object, Python refers to this as an iterator or generator, right? So you can think of it as F as something that generates elements and those elements are the lines in F. And what we can do is then say print the line. So this doesn't give us line numbers yet. So we need an indicator variable to do this. So let's say line index is one and with open sample key with R that's F and then for line in F, print line index line, and then line index plus equals to one. So what's happening here is we've created line index. Then every time we loop through a line within the generator F, we print the line index and the line, and we increment line index by one. So now we have line one is hello world, Line two is an empty line. Line three is how are you doing? And line four is another line. And so here we have read a file, read its whole contents, and read it line by line. And that's all there is to it. There's actually not a lot to reading files within Python because Python is a very simple and nice language that packages a lot into a very syntax. So we talked about number one, path handling in Python. We then talked about reading files into a variable. So what we can do is use the with keyword to safely open files, and we use the open keyword or the open function to create a read-only connection to the file by specifying the file name and specifying that we want to open this I/O channel with a read mode. We then pipe this channel into a variable f, and we can use f dot read to create a variable or create the value using the value of the file. To read lines into a variable, what we can do is we can use f as almost like a list and use a for loop to loop over every line in f.